So does anyone have a suggestion maybe out of the red hymnal? Of a song that we could all sing, or one that we all know by heart. Yes. Okay. 
Christian who's afraid to tell.
and die among the thorns. There had to be a rose to live and die among the thorns. All right, thank you very much. Next we have Abby J, and after that, rainbows and other awesome stuff. Okay, I'm going to sing Walk on the Water by Brittany Cole, and it's just a song that's meant a lot to me lately. Thank you, Brett. You look around and you're staring back at you in other ways of doubt. Will it pull you under and you wonder What if I never make it? What if I'm overtaken? What if no one's there? Will you hear my prayer? Will you take that first step into the unknown? You know that he won't let you go. So what are you waiting for? What do you have to lose? Your insecurities are trying to hold to you. But you know you're made for more. Don't be afraid to move. Your faith is all it takes and you can walk on the water too. So get up and let your fears fall to the ground. No time to waste. Don't wait, and don't you turn around and miss out on everything you were made for. I know you're not sure, so you want to play it safe, you want to run away. But when you take that first step into the unknown, he won't let you go. So what are you waiting for? What do you have to lose? Your insecurities are trying to hold to you But I know you make more Don't be afraid to move Your faith is all it takes And you can walk on the water too Well, it's called Rainbows and Other Awesome Stuff because I'm over sweet, so I'm over the rainbow and Bethany is going to do the other awesome stuff. <laughs> uh, she's really been practicing. Uh, okay, so um, earlier this spring uh, we had like a little audition thing and so we worked up this song for that and um, we're trying to bring it back. <laughs> it's, it's our own version, which every one of you have heard probably like six, at least. <laughs>
Very good. So now we have the five girls. And after that, we... Traditionally, every year when there's like a dead space and nobody knows what to say or to do, someone will come up with a joke and they'll say it and everybody can come together. So does anyone have a joke that they'd like to share? Why don't we laugh? Why don't we laugh first? Oh, yeah. Okay, you start off. Ready? We're all going to laugh on the count of three. Ready? Just for practice. Okay, this is really hard. Anyone on the count of three? One, two, three. came across but I didn't have time to memorize it but anyway um it's titled a lesson to be learned from typing the wrong email address it goes like this a Minneapolis couple decided to go to Florida to thaw out during a particularly icy winter they planned to stay at the same hotel where they spent their honeymoon 20 years earlier because of hectic schedules it was difficult to coordinate their travel schedules so the husband left Minnesota and flew to Florida on Thursday with his wife flying down the following day. The husband checked into the hotel. There was a computer in his room, so he decided to send an email to his wife. However, he accidentally le left out one letter in her email address, and without realizing his error, sent the email. Meanwhile, somewhere in Houston, a widow had just returned home from her husband's funeral. He was a minister who was called home to glory following a heart attack. The widow decided to check her email, expecting messages from relatives and friends. After reading the first message, she screamed and fainted. The widow's son rushed into the room, found his mother on the floor, and saw the com computer screen which read, To my loving wife. Subject. I've arrived. <laughs> the letter went like this. I know you're surprised to hear from me. They have computers here. And now you are allowed to send emails to your loved ones. <laughs> I've just arrived and have been checked in. I've seen that everything has been prepared for your arrival tomorrow. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you then. Hope your journey is as uneventful as mine was. <laughs> P.S. Sure is freaking hot down here. <laughs> Maybe I'll send a joke. Are you here? Adam? Is Adam here? Who's in here? Okay, so there's a time here milking a cow with the farmer, and he said, Man, I'm clumsy at milking cows, and the farmer said, Yes, you have no regard for the feeling of others. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're in a tight spot there. And next we have my, uh, the Isaacs. I'm not sure what exactly. Yeah. 
know that uh, I like to take hymns and turn them into ragtime. And so uh, I have uh, two ragtime hymns in which you should uh, recognize. So uh, I won't announce them. You'll recognize them. Or at least you should.
I used to bore people with this one, and fortunately, I have forgotten most of it. And, uh, and it got so boring for me that I went and turned it into a right time, so Beethoven's gonna turn over in his grave. 